even on an urban campus like the University of Tampa, there are plants everywhere you look. But where did they come from? About 1.2 billion years ago, the first plants evolved from algae on the edge of ponds. These were known as our seedless plants we know today. Today we will be diving into the evolutionary history of them and how they came to be. Old school house, we have this one palm tree, and this one palm tree is covered in ferns and mosses. It has multiple species of both the fern and mosses, but where did they come from? Thanks to Charles Darwin, that evolution pushes a species to change. Now let's look at the evolution of seedless plants. The first part of their evolutionary history we need to understand is how they reproduce. Many modern plants we think of today reproduce using something known as seeds. Well, Seedless plants don't really have that, so they reproduce using something known as alternation of generations. This complex life cycle starts with a gametophyte, which has one chromosome pair. Chromosome being a whole bunch of DNA, and DNA being sort of the blueprint that forms up an organism. It determines what the organism will look like, its various characteristics, etc. Now, two gametophyte species fuse to create a zygote which then goes and lands where there are optimal conditions, for example, moist soil with a lot of nutrients, and then it will grow into a sporophyte, which has two chromosome pairs. This then, once in adult stage, will form spores that will then go and land once again in favorable conditions and form a gametophyte, thus continuing the cycle on and on and on. This would be an example of the sporophyte stage in a species of fern. As you see, each frond has large circles along it that open up to release spores. These are called sores. You can see some of the spores as a fine dust-like material all over the fronds of the plant. This gets taken by wind and spread to fertile areas where it can then grow. The brown bodies coming off of this moss are the sporophyte stage, where the spores are stored in the capsules at the top. First group we will be talking about is the bryophytes, which are the non-vascular plants. There are three phyla, the hepatophyta, which are the liverworts, the bryophyta, which are the mosses, and the anthocerotophyta, which are the hornworts. Next, we will be talking about vascular plants. There are two types of seedless vascular plants, one of which is lycophyta, which is club mosses, and the other is pterophyta, which is ferns, whisk ferns, and horsetails. If you took a stem and cut through it, this would be the shape you would get. This inner part is known as the xylem. It transports water from the roots of the plants to the top. Around it, you see the phloem, which transports sucrose, and hormones throughout the plant. 